Good morning, Aika. During one of our pastoral staff meeting, Pastor Noy asked me, Atika, how did you find your faith in God through Aika? Well, we all have our own stories to tell. So here's mine. I was just a regular Sunday mass attendee from my childhood days until I got married and had kids. I know nothing about the Bible and spirituality. It was plainly a church, home, work thing for me back then. Until sometime in 2001, I was invited by my best friend Rizel to attend their Sunday worship at her former home church. I was just a mere observant that time as every part of it were new to me. I attended their service a couple of times without knowing that Aika was on its founding stage already. And then in September 2001, Aika was born. I am proud to say that I was one of its pioneer guests. But the time came when I know that the Holy Spirit was leading me as I began hearing and learning about God's Word. I felt some kind of emptiness in my spirituality when I started reading the Bible. There were so many truths that were revealed to me and that's when I decided to be born again and be baptized and fully accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. My view of my faith changed slowly, but surely because I know this time I am on the right path. The first Bible verses shared to me by my friend was Psalm 23, and I kept that in my heart since then. I even made a cross-stitch frame for that. I was able to meet new friends here in Aika, including my first pastor, who helped and inspired me to build my personal relationship with Jesus. When I opted for an early retirement from office work at Land Bank in 2005, I planned to put up a small bakery, but my mom got sick and needed my care, and things just didn't went well with the hired baker and all that. So it was set aside. After my mom passed away, I busied myself doing small buy and sell business, cooking and catering, and selling baked goodies to my friends and former office mates. It was tiring, but I enjoyed it. Since I was a freelancer back then, I have all the time to join the various ICA ministries like the PIP, choir, and outreach and mission programs. But in 2008, I was offered a position here at ICA as admin assistant and bookkeeper. Although my previous work at the bank involved money matters and my debit and credit skills were perfect for the position, yet I was hesitant to accept it at first. I told myself I already retired from office work. Why would I get myself into this kind of job again? All I wanted then was to put up my own food business. But that was my plan pala. God has other plans for me. And so there I was, back to office life again. Being a steward of the church finances was tough. I was judged, misunderstood, and was put into numerous minor conflicts regarding funds and budget. There have been a lot of times when I wanted to quit, but always God's will prevailed. I knew He was guiding and enlightening me during those times. As what Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. When the Lord gives us a task, he will bestow the spiritual authority we need to carry it out. Through the years, life has its ups and downs. There were times when my cup was empty and there were times when it was full and overflowing. But because I know that He loved me, I am confident that I am now walking in the light of His love. I praise and thank God He brought me to Aika, where my faith was renewed and strengthened, my life purpose was set, and my vision for the future was hopeful through God and God alone. Thank you, Aika, and happy 21st anniversary. To God be the glory.